Here at the University of Arizona, they're using a non-recirculating fertilization system. And that system begins here at the injector board. And we've asked Mark to kind of walk us through the injector board and how they're actually preparing their solutions and delivering that to the crop. So Mark, what do we have here on all of these different components? Well, we start with the nutrient solution. We use a concentrated stock solution so that we can store uh, a large amount of nutrient solution for a long time because it's a hundred times uh, concentrated over what we deliver to the crop. So at that concentration, nothing is going to grow in it. Um, we have two tanks because our nutrient solution has a calcium component and that calcium at this concentration will react with the sulfates and the phosphates and create uh, precipitation and we don't want that. It'll so fall we, out of solution. It'll fall out of yeah. solution. And uh, so we separate those components into separate tanks. So and that's, that they, that's this proverbial like tank A, tank a and tank, tank B, B people hear that's about. Right. Okay. Yeah. So these are your two different fertilizer concentrate tanks. That's correct. Okay. And then to deliver those to the crop at a final dilution that we, we want, we use uh, fertilizer injectors. Um, these uh, take up just a small amount of that concentrate and mix it into the, 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 the feed water and deliver a final concentration that we choose uh, based on uh, what the crop needs and, and we can achieve that by adjusting the rate of, of injection with the, the injectors. So these are two injectors with one running to B and one running to right. A. Right, each, each, each tank requires its own injector. Okay. And um, so we're, we're injecting the solution and it's moving downstream and we, we send it to a mixing bowl so that uh, that tiny little shot of, of high concentrated nutrient solution has a chance to, to diffuse into the, 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 the final concentration. We don't want to deliver tiny little, little high shots of A and shots of B. And yeah, right. So this is, real, this is your mixing bowl this and that's a just bowl. a turbulent... It's just a, a, a big volume that uh, our, our nutrient can mix together with before it gets sent down the line. And we have a third injector here which is for our acid tank. Uh, we have a fair amount of alkalinity in our water, so we need to, to moderate the pH uh, using acid. We use sulfuric acid, a commonly used acidifying agent, and we have a separate injector for that, so we can adjust the rate of the acid injection depending on how um, the pH is responding in, in the water. So you, you're bringing in your water, you're injecting A, you're injecting B, you're mixing, acid and then is this another mixing that's bowl? another mixing bowl just so the acid has a chance to mix with uh, those nutrient components again just so we have a nice uniform dilution going out to the crop okay well help me out because if a lot of folks are like I am all of this gets a little bit confusing even after someone explains it to you there's a lot of plumbing <laughs> it's here, a yeah. lot of plumbing so let's trace uh, your water when your water comes in let's trace sort of its path from coming in all the way through the system and what would be going to the crop? So we're bringing our feed water in here, which is just tap water. It's potable water that we use at the greenhouse. And we filter that initially so that if there's any particulates in that feed water, we can get those out of the system. Um, we move it on down to the first injector. Mm -hmm. And again, these are water driven. So the, the flow of the water will drive the piston in here and will inject the nutrient solution, basically the injector is just more or less a, like a syringe and it just takes up a little bit and pushes it into the water stream, goes to the next injector which takes um, the next solution and, and injects that and then it gets mixed here. And people have to be careful because there's a flow direction. Yeah, if you yeah, put so. it in backwards it's not going <laughs> to work. And you'll right. always have error, so be careful, yeah, a lot of this plumbing is directional. It's yeah. just directional, yes, so then we'll, we'll get to the mixing bowl and then, and then we'll inject our acid. Um, again, same principle, we can adjust how much we want to inject to, to adjust the pH and on down out to the greenhouse. So through here, and you've got, so you're coming this way, fertilizers, acid, final mixing bowl, and then on out to the crop, but you also have another filter here. We have one more filter because if there is a little bit of precipitation coming from the stock or if there's a little bit of grit or something in the system, uh, we don't want to plug up the emitters with that so okay. or, or cause the solenoids to get grid of them and stick open. So we have one more filter in line just to make sure that what we're delivering is free of any particulars. Now these are just screen filters? These are just 200 mesh screen filters. And you've got to, I assume, remember periodically to check those. They, exactly yeah, that, those that's and... important. Um, the, um, you need to check them for particulates. And also some, you'll just get uh, uh, stuff 
collecting on uh, from the fertilizer solution. So yeah, you, you, need, you need to, to check those to check things. those. Otherwise, your pressure is just going to keep <laughs> dropping and the system is going to stop working. Well, and you mentioned the pressure. One thing, too, I noticed you have on here is you have uh, pressure gauges throughout your system to kind of see yeah, how things are operating. Yeah, we need to see that you do get pressure drop across the injector. I mean, all that action going on will, will lower the pressure. So we just want to know that we've got a functional pressure um, being delivered to the crop because we do use pressure compensated emitters and so if, if that falls below that that PSI requirement it's just not going to work. It doesn't so. work well. Now I also see after you come through your injectors you do have another line here. Well sometimes say early in the crop or at other times we don't even need acid um, and so we can just bypass the acid altogether and um, deliver just the, the nutrient stock to the crop. Okay. Um, one advantage of that is we, we eliminate that pressure reduction that's coming off of, of this additional injector. So. so you can bring it through, add your fer add your different stocks at the concentrations you want, adjust pH, or bypass the pH adjustment, and basically have the two lines here that are the lines that go on out, to the, on out to the crop. And that's actually what our next video is going to focus on. We'll be following the fertilizer solution once it's prepared, following it out to the crop and to the plants.